Let's take a quick look at a linear system with a trivial solution and then show that it has infinitely many non-trivial solutions. As a quick first example, is this system of linear equations consistent? You may quickly be able to tell that it is not, because if in fact x plus y is equal to 8, then 2x plus 2y, which is twice as much, must equal 16 not 5. So this system is not consistent. In a way, it's the constants that are the problem here. If this constant of 5 was instead 16, then this system would be consistent. On the other hand, if all of these constants were 0, then this would be what we call a homogeneous linear system, because all of the constant terms are 0, and such a system always has at least one trivial solution. As a result, every homogeneous linear system is consistent, because every system like this, where the constants are 0, will have this so-called trivial solution. That trivial solution is just setting all the variables equal to 0. If all of these variables on the left are equal to zero, then of course they'll all be equal to the zeros on the right. Of course, a homogeneous linear system may also have non-trivial solutions, and if it does, it will always have infinitely many of them. We can figure out if it does by performing Gauss-Jordan elimination. We begin by writing the augmented matrix for the system. This column has the coefficients of x1, and so on. We've got the constants on the right. Then we can perform Gauss-Jordan elimination and get this into reduced row echelon form. And here that process is. We begin by subtracting two copies of row 1 from row 2, so that this becomes a 0 below that leading 1. That gets us here. Then we can multiply row 2 by 1 third, so this leading entry becomes a positive 1. And that gets us here. This is now in row echelon form. Then we just want to eliminate this entry above that leading 1 to get it in reduced row echelon form. To do that, we add row 2 to row 1. So that negative 1 is now a 0. This is in reduced row echelon form. And from here, we can describe all solutions of the homogeneous linear system. From row 1, we have that x1 plus 4x3 equals 0. From row 2, we have that x2 minus 2x3 equals 0. Hence, x1 and x2 are what we call leading variables. They correspond to those leading ones. On the other hand, there's no leading 1 in column 3, so x3 is not a leading variable, and we'll assign it an arbitrary parameter, say t. This is what we call a free variable. It's free to be whatever it likes, and then we can calculate x1 and x2 accordingly. If x3 is equal to t, then from this equation, we see that x1 must equal negative 4t, just subtracting that to the right side. From this equation, x2 must equal positive 2t, and that's the general solution to this homogeneous linear system. Like every homogeneous system, it has the trivial solution, but it also has infinitely many non-trivial solutions. We can produce as many solutions as we like by picking values for t and calculating x1 and x2 according to those equations. There's also a way from the beginning that we could have known that this particular system would have infinitely many any solutions. Not every homogeneous system has non-trivial solutions, but this system had only two equations, but with three variables. Two equations is never enough to fully determine three variables, so any system like this, a homogeneous linear system, with more unknowns than equations, three compared to two, any system like this will always have infinitely many solutions, because we'll have at least one free variable. I'll leave links in the description to more videos I have going over homogeneous linear systems and related concepts. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.